Hey, Sports Network. Maya, how did you feel wearing the captain's armband for the first time? Um, must have been a big moment for you. Thank you. It's a big, big honor, to be honest, of course. You know, the, this armband who was taken by, like, Beckham, Ibrahimovic, Gerard, the many big names, so must be honor, to be honest. But of course, unfortunately, we couldn't get three points. It's I feel uh, much more disappoint disappointment, to be honest. And yeah, of course, we are missing the important players. So that's why I took the armband. But my in my responsibility, my role is nothing changed. Always on the pitch, off the pitch, try to re lead the uh, lead the team squad. So it's always the armband is uh, makes me feel. We'll Much this spring, strong, and uh, to make me hard work, so it's really good. But of course, with the results, it's feel much better. Hey Maya, um, I want to get your thoughts on the defensive performance by the team tonight and by the back line tonight. Uh, how can we? Stop conceding. That is the most difficult part for me. And uh, of course, we have uh, spoken a lot this e this week and how to how to stop the goal in giving a goal in so easily. Then again, the first five minutes we conceded. A second goal was a little bit unlucky, but third goal we shouldn't. And but to be honest, it's of course we need to improve for sure. Very clear, but we have four games left, and uh, the 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 main target is go through the playoff. It's it's easy to pointing each other and uh, you mistake, you mistake. Uh, this is your responsibility. Yes, it's easy to blaming each other, but rather I prefer to stack together, to work together, hard to, uh, hard working together, and to to avoid or reduce. The conceding the goal because uh, we have in three days we have to play against Seattle, then uh, move to Seattle, uh, Minnesota directory. Uh, this is a big week for us. So, again, rather than pointing each other, I prefer to stack together and improve ourselves and improve individually, collectively to reduce the conceding the goal. Maya, you guys are, are six points from the playoff line now. As you said, four games to play. What What is the mindset? Outside of not conceding goals, what do you guys have to accomplish in these next two road games? 100% free focus on ourselves. Of course, it's, it's maybe situation can change something, but the mainly importantly, we have to win the game. We have to get three points. No, one point is not enough. Always we come back, it's great. Today, we just dropped two points. It's really pity, but we need the three points. That's very clear. And of course, maybe someone lose, someone win, then the situation can change. But again, it, I want to spend my full energy for 100% to ourselves, to our squad, to win the game, game by game, four games. I still believe we can do it. And still, we don't change anything. And of course, tactically, we have to change many things, probably. Uh, but I spoke just spoke with the coach, and we are too emotional now. So we, I go home, watch the game, analyze, and of course the, the coaching staff analyze. Then we spoke. Uh, we're gonna speak on Monday. And, and you had uh, your partner Eric Sabaleta scored two goals tonight. Yeah. Uh, you had a chance, I think, to score a goal. Yeah. Get got two shots at it. Um, what do you think of Eric's performance? And then, uh, do you think that you had a good chance on those those goals? Of course, I have to. I had to score, but again, it's yeah. You had to. You could score, and you could stop. You you make mistake. It, this is doesn't matter now. Of course, I missed the opportunity, and maybe it could be four two. Then game is almost done. Yeah, but this is what it is now. So consequently, we we got one, only one point. Then uh, of course, Zavaleta scored two goals, but practice the set piece as well to be honest, and it, we make a space for him. And uh, Douglas got a great ball, and very happy for that. This is the teamwork, and this is uh, how we prepare well, set pieces, and uh, we will keep going.
Hi, Maya. Uh, thank you for your time. You mentioned it briefly about tactics and emotion. Um, which one do you feel is more of the reasons why this team um, is just conceding goals, tactically or, or emotionally? Uh, both, both. The mindset and uh, get into the game, especially the beginning of the game. We conceded last three games, maybe. And we are talking we need to reduce this, we have to stop this, then we can see this. And this is not about uh, tactics. Um, yeah, so that's why it's very difficult to, I think it's both, not tac only tactics, but also the mental set mindset. And uh, sometimes we need to kick away the two tribune, and especially last five minutes, then um, um, we can see the third goal was like 75 probably, 75 minutes and yeah, if this is the middle of uh, try to play like our way or just kick away ball, kick the ball away. Uh, this is very difficult moment. But you know, after the game, it's easy to say, "Oh, we should do this. We should do this." But pff, that's a very difficult question. Sorry, I, I have no right answer. Probably. Yeah. Hi. Um, Billy Sharp didn't score today, but he's had such a big impact on the club since joining. Could you talk about <coughs> what he's brought to to the locker room with his experience uh, uh, and his, his uh, I guess, energy and enthusiasm? What, what has he brought you in the past couple of couple of weeks? He has great experience in Sheffield. I I, I was with with him in Southampton a very short time to be honest because he learned to everywhere, <laughs> but. In the end, we, we play together here, and uh, oh, he almost assists for me today. And uh, of course, he's not running every time and then running 19 minutes to working hard, but he know ways that go that he can smell. So very smart uh, player. They're also in the dressing room, he helped try to help the team and try to lift them up. And very positive guy, so very happy for that. And I think this kind of mature the atmosphere is influenced to the young boys. Very happy for that, and keep going. And uh, very happy to meet again with him. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.